All right, so this is video number two of the Arrow Coop rear window debacle. So I spent a couple, of, well, about an hour and a half out here with my glass guy, and what we got here, we got this universal molding that's an inch and a quarter long. And basically what I'm going to end up having to do is build this edge out just a little bit from about right in this area to about right here. That way it's not falling down and you don't see a gap in there. We also experimented with splicing and getting an angle here or just simply having a rolled edge here like this. It'll look better like that, but you gotta get the angles exactly right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this glass tinted. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have Billy from Tent Plus put about a three inch band of headlight tint around the edge to cover up and hide all this ugliness. Um, then we're gonna run a foam dam. We're gonna put this glass in just like that Monte Carlo over there with a foam dam and urethane. We're gonna have this where it's basically flush with this edge. So that's the plan going forward. I just wanted to show you this on video. Hopefully this will simplify if you're running into the same issue what to do about your arrow coop rear glass. Well, this is the molding you're gonna need, inch and a quarter. Any glass supplier that's got a pulse can get it. This is not a job for your fast food glass companies. Um, this is gonna take someone who knows what the heck they're doing. This is a, um, this may be something you have to tackle on your own. But uh, once you get it figured out, I'm showing you what to do. We use some windshield stops here in the factory holes where the, the original molding was screwed down. And basically that's holding the glass and with these paint paddles, at least temporarily, that's where the glass is gonna sit. So this car had a quarter put in it on this side but it ended up being pretty close. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, again, I'm gonna build the edge out here and make that smooth. I'm not gonna to have to raise this up at all. Um, just gonna build the edge out a little bit. That way it don't wanna sink. Cause I don't want it to go down in there. Cause as that molding gets older, it's gonna be harder to flex. So, that's where we're at. And basically, I'm gonna give you a slow video here, and this will be for my own reference as well. A roll of this is like $60. Again, I don't know where it came from. It's my glass guy, he got it. But remember, there's a lot of ugly to hide. And that's what that bead of headlight tan is gonna accomplish. And tinting it outside the car, you can do the window tint in one piece and they won't have to split it here. And it'd be a pain in the butt to get up in that back window and do that, so. So anyway, hopefully this will help if you've got an arrow coupe and you're wondering what in the world, again, if you haven't watched the first video, please go do that where we cut the back glass out. And also, from what I was told, some of these windows, and I'm gonna say this is an 87 thing, has bolts up here. This is an 86, they only built 200 of these. An 86 did not have any bolts up here. You can see the homemade hack job 86 had one trunk shock. We're using an 87 deck lid because it's in way better shape. I found it at a swap meet several years ago for him. But I basically just wrote myself some notes. Build the edge out, even here on this corner. I'm gonna round that corner off. So no matter what we decide to do, whether we have it curved, put a relief cut in it, or just if he is feeling real confident, 
do it this way, but get the angle just right to where this is all one piece here. And then just have this angle. If you screw up, you just throw away a short piece and not the whole thing. Time will tell on this, but of course the glass is not in. This is just temporary. Um, it's safer for the glass to lay there than it is anywhere else around here in the shop. So that's the plan. So, a little change of pace around here. Furthermore, on the car, we've got it basically ready to, to uh, touch up the uh, low spots that I found with a uh, primer and then ready to do the jams. As far as I know, we're going with a 2000. 19 Chrysler 300 color um, is going to be the color. Painting inside these door jams is going to be fun. Might have to cover up that dash very well. So anyway, but I don't want to make this video about what I'm doing to the car. This is Aero Coupe Tech here, and no one else would have been brave enough to risk this so that's what we're doing again if you call certain people they're going to try to convince you this glass don't can't come out that's hogwash if you're doing a car and doing it halfway right the glass has got to come out people no one makes the seal you're going to have to use universal molding if you was to find an original that's good you're going to pay out the butt for it if you find a gm piece you're going to pay thousands of dollars so again all right i think this video is long enough i think i've got my point across but this is what you can do this is what's going to be done on this car this may be the only 86 i think there's one more that someone done something similar i saw it at the daytona turkey run gonna be one of the only few aero coupes that's had a changed rear molding and i'm glad to be a part of this so with that being said thanks for watching we'll see y'all next time video number two of the aero coupe forbidden rear window pull it out put it back in the next video you see on this glass it'll be going in for good and the car will be painted until then, check out some other videos. We'll get back on that car eventually. See you next time.